Episode 8, the Puck Daddy Podcast. Let's go. Gonna change the world with my, with my really? hockey stick. <laughs> Gonna make a real difference. difference. Feed the poor and heal the sick. I just realized we actually are healing the sick with our hockey sticks. Yeah. This is actually... It, it was always like, I, I, I don't know, did I manifest this from listening to this song so much when I was a kid? Feed the poor. I have donated to food banks through the campaigns that I did. I did a, a campaign with uh, some tuna company, mm-hmm. Oceans, I think it was. And um, they said, you know, what's your rate? And I said, you know what? Just pay me in tuna. So you can give it away? <laughs> Literally. Pay me in tuna. Nah. They sent me like four skids of tuna fish. That Hold stuff ain't cheap. Wait, and didn't? When I first started working for you, I remember this. You, we were cleaning out the garage, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I got all this tuna." And then you just set one down, and you started stick handling it. You're <laughs> oh, working yeah. around yeah. the garage, stick handling tuna. That was one of my first posts on my How to Hate Instagram hilarious. before I changed it back. I remember that. And hilarious. and I got him to max it out because like I don't know how much it was like a thousand bucks. Uh, a whole skid. Of tuna. Well, no. So so I'm like, yeah, but like, give me like your value of tuna. So instead of paying me a thousand, they gave me like their cost. So it's probably like three thousand dollars worth of tuna. Right. Retail. That they sent. Yeah. Re- retail. Okay. And I just, tuna. <laughs> I just brought it all to the local food bank because that stuff's hard. Like people don't donate tuna. And, and we should be clear, it's canned tuna. Canned not tuna. Just no, like, no, not like a fish. I didn't get the fish. They didn't send the fish. That would be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> but but I thought it would it'd be a good opportunity because um, it's it's uh, people don't donate tuna, right? They're like, oh, that's expensive. Like I'm gonna donate like craft dinner. Every all the food. Oh, like are, the food drives. Yeah. Oh, right, right. When yeah. people yeah. donate, it's they're like, phenomenal. I, I love tuna. Oh, it's great. It's protein. So, I, anyways, um, but healing the sick. Haven't really done that. But we have a pond hockey tournament coming up. Mm-hmm. It's run by um, our community here locally. And it's February 3rd and 4th. And all of the money that they raise for this pond hockey tournament is going to RVH, which is the, our local hospital. And it's going to the cancer ward. Last year, they raised $75,000. At the Braystone pond hockey tournament? Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I forget how much you guys are loaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple big dogs no, no, coming no, no. to the old ODR this <laughs> day. Yeah, Braystone, if you wanna. It's a, it's literally a pond down the road. It's a pond down the road, and they host a tournament there, and they raise seventy five grand big for dogs, cancer yeah. research. Big dogs at the Braystone tourney, and, and this is to get equipment event. in like our local hospital, right? So it's yeah, going to to. Uh, but so this year, uh, we're gonna try to raise a hundred grand. I wasn't involved with it last year. I, right. I remember it, we were going to, but I think you were away. Or yeah, something. it was during family day and we were away and I couldn't. So, but this year I'm getting in and, and I'm, I'm trying to uh, help them raise over a hundred Move the needle a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And make, make a difference with our hockey sticks. And, do it. So we're playing on it. Yep. You guys are on the team. Yeah. Yep. Right. I'm the there. Puck Daddies. We got a, a team in. Uh, but if you guys want to sign up, it's February 3rd, 4th and 5th. Uh, check out the Braystone uh, Pond Hockey Classic. They've got a website. Mm-hmm. You guys can put a team in. So if you're listening, you can put a team in and help raise money, or you can donate. Um, nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If so, you want the smoke on the ODR, you know where to be. There you go. <laughs> if, if you want to support us, uh, we'll put a link out there. It'll be on social media now. I, we just like started talking about it, and we're just organizing the tournament. Check but the I'll, link in the video description on YouTube. I'll see if I can put it on Spotify, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but just stay tuned to socials. So, yeah, uh, that's exciting stuff. Pond hockey coming up. That's what we're talking about on the podcast. I just podcast. can't wait for ODR season to start. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've, got the, we've got the backyard rink sort of starting to go. It's It's frozen, but the tarp fell in. Oh, yeah. We got to fix that. Yeah. Actually, if you guys uh, haven't seen already, we're starting a, a vlog series on the YouTube channel for Puck Daddy where we'll just we'll throw on the camera for like 10, 20 minutes, throw out videos for you guys. You guys like the first one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got so. like 2,000 yeah, views on that. In. Go we're, to we're an growing. in, baby. We're growing. Hey, guys, we're doing good, by the way. Fist bumps here. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I think we got over 5,000 uh, yeah. followers. <laughs> <laughs> Over 5,000. I feel like a DJ at a house party. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this one? That's not the one. That, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> yeah. Womp, womp, womp. It's energy, baby. The Puck Daddy energy. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Heavy. 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 It's holiday season. Keep, We're feeling good. Got to keep the buttons away from Jeremy. Hayden's blocking the buttons now. He's like, I let the kid near it. Um, <laughs> I could be a DJ. I think I could be a DJ. Yeah, We're okay. feeling good. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the the pod's doing great. I uh, really appreciate everyone's support, everyone who's uh, tuning in. And, uh, yeah, socials is, is doing well. It's, we're growing it, and we're trying to make a difference in the hockey world, um, you know, being good role models and just being good teammates, right, and, and teach that. Yeah, and, being good you know, people, like spreading positive energy and positive mindset. And, yep. yeah, yeah, you got to live and you got to grow, and you, 
You got to be a puck up. daddy. You got to be, be a puck, puck daddy. Be a puck daddy. Be a good person. A puck daddy is a good teammate. Be yeah. a good teammate. And if you want to show that you're a puck daddy, I got the hat. Holy, is that embroidered? We've been waiting on the rest. <laughs> every time. Yeah, every, every time. time. <laughs> I love it. What's yeah. the stitch count on that? <laughs> we, got the, we got the merch at puckdaddypodcast.com. I it set actually that looks all up. Great. Oh, yeah. It looks actually it's solid. fantastic. That's the best hat you've ever wore. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I, I, I actually am very jealous, and I wish I had one. And yeah. one, one of these days, I'll show Shipping them, these days has been interesting. I got the hat somehow ahead of everything else. but He ordered it like two days later. It shows up. I'm like, hey, cool. Cool hat, man. I paid the express shipping. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, if you want to be a Puck Daddy or hang out with the Puck Daddy crew, mm-hmm. uh, another pond hockey tournament, Ooh. February 24th to 26th. This one's huge. Uh, it's in Gravenhurst. There's accommodation. You can bring the boys. I honestly guarantee this will probably be the best weekends you'll have with the boys mm-hmm. because it's like you and six or seven of your best friends. You're hanging out all weekend. Uh, I've heard playing, it's a good time. Getting it's, after you're it or what? Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. Well, I'm excited to go this time, yeah. So that is called On the Pond Canada. So so Google search that, On the Pond Canada. Registration's open. There is a, a men's rec. There's a men's 35 plus. There's a women's uh, team. And there's a 50 plus. So even for the puck, puck gran- grandpas. <laughs> the puck oh. grandpas. <laughs> yeah, those grandpas the, that can still wheel, eh? The puck grampies. The puck yeah. grampies. I mean, 55 plus. Uh, 55 50 plus, plus. that's not, that's not too old. How old is your dad? 55 plus <laughs> <laughs> and uh february 10th and 12th they have a kids division as well oh that's sweet yeah so we're getting involved in that tourney we're gonna be there we're gonna uh, play in the kids division yeah <laughs> <laughs> we were showing up for the u8 division we we're gonna dominate yeah. those we're gonna break ankles they don't stand a yeah. chance their, their <laughs> ankles are so small and when they're u8 that it's just so easy to break them <laughs> like, we're gonna snap yeah snap i'm gonna those ankles watch those shins like pull up the the ambulance there's gonna be an ambulance rink side for all the broken ankles so here's we're the question. We're just joking. If you're, if we're, we're obviously joking, <laughs> but here's the thing. If you're at an ODR, mm-hmm. and the, you know whenever you go to an ODR, there's like the local kids around. They they p- play maybe like local league or they just are out there for fun. Yeah. Do you like – Do I dominate do, them? Do you dominate yes. them or do you <laughs> – Every time. No. You I have to – take it easy on these kids. Like, oh, my gosh, you I'm, guys. You know, I'm, I'm not here to – be a parent for this. It'll let you win. No. no what, welcome to the real so, world. Do you want this mm-hmm. Coach Chippy stuff? You're going to have to get this Coach Chippy I, stuff. I follow a principle of uh, back and forth. Oh, yeah, well, that's cute. So that's I'll, cute. I'll try in, in some situations, and I won't try in others. I'll try hard when I'm going against them Is to score. Is it more offensive to not try? No, no. So here's the thing. I make it look like I'm trying hard the whole time, but they don't know. Okay. You don't think they know? Okay. No. You, here's here's there's, If you don't know hockey, they can't tell. Here's how it goes. You got to set a precedence, right? <laughs> you, you get that puck, you 360 spin around, a tap well, it through their legs. Well, yeah, a good person. No, no, no. no. That, <laughs> not, you are being a good rink, person. It's compete because then yeah. they know what's up. We're and they're like, oh, here. okay, this this then they, guy. Then they pack up their skates and go home because you were the one that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, here's what you do. You, you show you show them what you got early. You show them that you guys you guys can't skate with me. You guys cannot get the puck off me, and then maybe you ease up. But at the beginning, you really show. Oh, you got to really you guys, show I can on. do this. So the warmth of their tears is the best way to get a nice smooth ice surface. Exactly. Right? Oh I'm not, you get them all. Come on. I'm just kidding. I'm not playing daddy. <laughs> I got it. I, I agree. I will assess the situation, play to my yeah, full ability. It's pissing you off. Then okay. I will drop to what their level is and still beat them. So <laughs> if it starts chirping, it's it's game over. You don't like. I don't let them win. I just no, keep it can't. close. Yeah, it's abs- more fun. Okay. Let yeah. them win. That's what I do against you, Chippy. Hey, 12 man. nothing. 12 nothing. We have not ever played. So, guys, that's very full. We have never played one on one. We got to hit up Jeremy's backyard rink. We do. And For that's, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My, my actual strategy act is you show up to a rink. It's it's nice. You know, you pass the puck around a little. You get to know each other. Oh, you want to? And then it's like, hey, you you want to get a game going? And and then, and you, then got, you annihilate uh, them. Nah, you you got to <laughs> show like a few like crazy things. Be like, oh, dude. And and then yeah, you, you let them sneak. You show them the edge work. You show them that you have no chance out here, kid. I, I'm busting the weird moves though. Like I'll take the the stick one hand. I know, but put sometimes it behind when you start my back doing that, and... you mess it up. Sometimes when you start doing too much and you and yeah, like you don't ever me. practice those moves. <laughs> for me, it's for me. I go hard. It's yeah. Protect I'm, the puck. Use my body. I'm use I'm the like force. I'm deking the kid out, and then the kid falls over, and then you flip it up in the air and over their body, and then go. You know what I mean? Like you come and get it. Yeah, I really attack the triangle. I, I attack the legs. I put. I'm, I'm just. Yeah. Uh, you, you guys can see that once we're uh, we got two pond hockey tournaments coming up, so we are going to re- be recording. We're going to post some of that footage. We'll we'll keep you guys updated on the pod. And if you want to join us, uh, it's the Braystone Classic Pond Hockey Tournament, 
and also the On the Pond uh, tournament. Those are both in February. So if you want to join us, put in a team. Let nice. them know that uh, the Puck Daddy sent you. Maybe we'll see if we can get our hands on some merch and actually bring oh, it. Yeah, bring some merch. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, we should call it like the Puck Daddy We're Classic. Moving it out the back truck, oh, guys. We We're should just it take it cash it. only. We should just take it over. Call it the Puck Daddy Classic. Yeah, Puck Daddy Classic. <laughs> we'll make it. What, what should our trophy look like? Wait, are, is this for the Braystone one or for the. No, no, the, the Braystone will keep it like uh, focused on the cause. Yes. On the pond, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one take would over, be sick. Over. Yeah. Uh, topics here for, uh, for the pod. We've got, we're going to talk about the NHL. What's going on there? 19 games. I mean, each Marner. Show? Marner, My, yep. T- we're recording this on the f- night before. Is he's going to get 20. Is it 19? Or 19. I, don't, is, is I think he's, he's 19? got 19. He's got yeah. 19 straight. Yeah, because he broke. No, he broke the record with 19. 19. Yeah. Okay. And, the Leafs record. And hold on. And and we'll also go uh, craziest minor hockey stories. Ooh. Share, share a few those. things that happened like, in minor hockey. Just like weird. Like on Reddit or in our. No, no. Stuff that happened to us. It's oh, be personal, okay. Personal stuff. Oh, I got to think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't. You do. I don't. I mean, you don't do that often. We could do five podcasts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. For, for for me, basically everything was uh, my midget year, which was I think like 15 years old. Yeah, like, that's probably. The are worst. we getting into it now? Or no, 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 no. We'll do that okay. after. But it's just like I, I think that's when the guys are like all like the personalities have developed. Right. They've got the confidence and a little bit of puberty. I feel like more of my stories are younger. Younger, yeah. I feel okay. like more like for like parent situations. Like I feel like once you get to the older ages, it's a little more. You're in high school. Wow. You're not trying to. You were essentially a professional hockey. I player essentially was. Like, I essentially was playing so. the highest level of hockey in Canada, number two in Ontario. We were a wagon. NHL was that Triple A? Team. Yeah. It was, was it? elite Triple A. It was <laughs> wow. number two in Ontario number stuff. Two. Yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. You can't mess around. Like the stuff that no. happened uh, in in our league was like. I think I've been playing down what what my career was, guys. It was a very elite career <laughs> that we have not tapped into yet. Oh, so all right. All we'll, right. we'll tap in a little more today. <laughs> Are you just holding back at men's league then? Like it's a oh Ooh, just holding back. Burn. Just, just, exactly, <laughs> no, exactly. I'm just holding back because guys, nice this is my you. first year back on the ice in over a year. And my my edges are dull because Jared won't sharpen my skates in his garage. Yep. And there's some stuff that we need to get done. I need some edge work. I stuff. appreciate you dialing it down a bit so that I don't look bad out there. Yeah, well, you yeah, saw that's really nice. Of you, you saw the speed. I would have three breakaways last game. Couldn't oh, talk yeah. one. It, it was, was just it was nice of you to hit the goalie though. each nice time. Nice apple though. Right to not embarrass the other team, right? Because exactly. we're already winning. Like you don't need a goal if we're already winning. So it's yeah, nice of you to shoot it at the goalie. Yeah, not put it in. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, I mean, I just one timed it in. Jeremy that's... always shoots at the goal. He doesn't want to make him feel bad. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I shot one in the yesterday, so that's all right. And then we're gonna finish it off uh, today with a draft of the best hockey movies. Ooh, Ooh. best hockey movies. Yeah. there's some good ones. Hayden good. and Jeremy are doing that one. You're, you're opting out. I'm opting out. I don't all right. like. All right. You know what's kind of sad, though, guy. is that I get so excited when there's a hockey movie. It feels like there's way more bad hockey movies than good hockey movies. It's Some of them, they're good because they're bad. And then other ones yeah, are good I guess just because it, they're right? amazing. But <laughs> hockey does not get very much. There's there's like big Hollywood productions for basketball and And a million football, football like, movies. Yeah. Exactly. Like There's one hockey one I'm thinking about that's unreal, though. But, but every year, there's like a few like good we'll coaching see yeah. well, videos. I don't know. I don't th- I actually, I'm actually... I don't think you guys are gonna get it. All right, all right. We'll see. I don't think it. We'll see. Like it, but you might. But I just, we'll I, w- I just wish we'll that see. they put the budget behind some, some good, co- like, because the ones that are good are like really good. But there's a lot of really bad ones too, like yes. the low budget stuff. Um, all right, let's get hey, into yeah. heat my, show. Uh, oh, Marty's heat show. Marty Robertson's heat show that no one's talking about. No one's What's talking going on, about here? Robertson? What's up with that? He's he's an animal. He he's got 18, 18 game point streak. I didn't even know. He's got like tw- and he's got way more points than Marner in that yeah. streak. He's that, got like yeah. That's the weird thing about Marner. How does he have a nineteen game point streak and he's not even top ten in the league for for points? Like how and how like do have more points and, and like a month ago we were talking about how Marner and Matthews are dried up, like they haven't <laughs> come up with anything. And <laughs> he's meanwhile he started the streak. Just, yeah, <laughs> chugging away. Every guys, I'm getting a point every single game. I think a lot of them in the beginning were secondary assists, and then he re- the streak started, and then he's like, okay, now I'm getting the primary yeah. assists. I'm getting the goals. How, how are you, How do you have an 18, a 19-game point streak, and you're 14th in the league with points? Did he just not get any the first, like, 10 what games? What is Matthews, like 20? I don't even know. I saw. He's, like, 30-something. 30? 30? No, he's got to be up higher no, now. he's, like, 30. No, it doesn't even show. It just shows the top 30. 23. And it's like Matthews 32. for goal score? Like, for goals or oh, points, for points. points? Oh, okay. but you, Even goals. Even like, goals, yeah. There's going to be, like, 50, 50 no. goal scorers this season. Goals, he's got to be top 10. No. How many has he got? 12? Chance. Top 20, probably. Yeah, they don't even put him here. There's there's tw- 24 with What are you more. looking on here? Uh, you know the NHL 
website? App, the app sucks. You got to go to... Uh... <laughs> well, Nylander's got more than him, and... Uh, like... Suzuki, I used to play against him. No big deal. Shut him down. Oh, did you? And he's got 14 rips this year. He's tearing it up. Yeah. He played for the London Knights. Yeah, so a um, few questions for you. Uh, do you think Robertson is going to win the uh, Maurice no. Rocker Richard? No. Is he going to keep up this pace? No. He's got 23 goals. He's got one more than McDavid. McDavid's winning this. Like I don't. He wants it. I think. No question about I it. I think McDavid. this year. He I decided. think any other conversation is like who's coming in second. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. it's a runner-up conversation. Yeah, it is. It but, is. But, but he does have 23 close. bingos. Like, yeah. we. Can, I haven't watched enough of him play. Like, is he like that? I don't know if he's really like that. I I have not watched every single one of his goals. I've been meaning to sit down and just watch every single goal to get an idea of like what type of player he is. Because I've watched a few, and it seems like. They're just coming to when he puts it in. It's not like Didn't he's doing... Didn't he have doing 40 like... last year, too? Like no, no, no. His no. rookie season? Didn't he have 40? So. 40 goals. I think he got 40. So he's a goal scorer. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know. Like, he might be like that. Like, he might really be like that. I don't watch Dallas games. He turned on the mini stick brother mode, you know, where you yeah. just go OP and score. <laughs> let's, let's see. You're, you're right. 17 goals his first season, then 41 uh, in 74. That's that's impressive. He's a goal scorer. He, is he puts he, the puck in. He's got to be. He's got to be, eh? Yeah. Well, he, why Why is his brother not playing for us? Why are we not giving him the opportunity? <laughs> That's fair, yeah. He's got, his brother's got 23 y- reps. He's hey. younger, though. Why, why didn't Brent Gretzky uh, be the second best player of all time? To me, it's Wayne. more hopeful because no one knew about Jason Robertson, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden now... Well, no, he, he's, was, he tore it up in the O. Okay, I'm just saying. So did so did Nick Robertson, yeah. but no one he didn't show it in yeah. the NHL right yeah. away. Yeah. Hey, no, no, don't, even, don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. I'm oh, sorry. I was saying that Nick Robertson hasn't shown it in the NHL yeah. extensively yet. But to me, it's has not the opportunity. Hope, though. It's hopeful because yeah. Jason Robertson went through the same thing. Yeah. Nick Robertson could pop off in like a year or two. Yeah, I think so too. I think yeah. I think I think that's what like they're saying. Like Jason kind of did the similar. Like he was in and out of the lineup at his like early stages, and then he got a chance, and then he kind of ran with it. I could see Nick Robertson being more of like a a net front. Uh, Banging in goals, kind of like J- John Tavares, like when he was younger. Yeah, Nick I, has the hands though. He he's, yeah, he's crafty. That's he's what crafty. I mean. Like in, a lot, in front of the net, like he, once he like kind of figures out how to use his body yeah. a bit more and right. get in front of the net, he's gonna get a lot more goals because he has such a good shot and he's got such quick hands. He's too. a smaller player than yeah. Jason though. That's one thing to mention. Like yeah. I find he falls a lot. He's like a hedgehog like, out there. He's, he's he plays hard. You compete. Yeah. He is on his like if you watch his next couple of games like. He's on the ice a lot. On, he gets down on his on his knees and the, like back up, jumping up and down a yeah. lot. Yeah. yeah. So so Chip, you said that Jason <laughs> tore it up in the OHL. I wouldn't say tore it up. He, decent numbers. Um, looking. Eighty one. What is it? Eighty one points. points Eighty seven points. Game, just tearing it up. Seventy nine. Over a point per game in the oh, O. Okay, this was ridiculous for Niagara. Thirty eight games played in seventy. He tore points. it up. Okay, Don't tell good. me he didn't tear it. It's Jeremy points saying, in thirty games. Jeremy's comparing it to his <laughs> point per game in men's league, saying, yeah. "Ah, he's nothing special." No, no, I'm comparing it to other guys that <laughs> 80 like eighty points. Okay. What was thirty eight games? So That's like, ridiculous. Who did we hear about in the same time? Like Lafreniere. We heard about. Uh, I mean, who, who came out of the O? It was like highly touted. Every year, there's like some new well, generation. Nick, Nick Robertson. He had over fifty goals in the O. Like he was a goal scorer in the O. Like right before COVID. But, yeah. yeah. Morgan Frost lit it up in the oh. OHL. Sounds like <laughs> you know that. I used to play against him too. Oh yeah. Yeah. And he played for yeah he played on Barry in his uh not when I played like I stopped playing AAA and then he the next year I think he came over for Barry. Kind of know him. Do you do you remember that I, movie? Oh yeah, Morgan Jack. Frost right there. He was fourth, and uh, Jason Robinson was first for uh, points that season. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the that movie Jack Frost? That's something that made me think of. Oh my gosh, is that going on the list? Isn't it? Isn't it like Santa? No, not as hockey, but maybe it's Santa Claus. It was a Santa Claus movie. It's a hockey movie, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa! We can't be talking about these. (laughs) Jack Frost is a hockey movie. I remember after watching. It's a hockey movie. It is. I remember. I mean, it's hockey and Christmas. Yes, but I remember watching that movie, and it was actually ahead of its time. Uh, My my buddy was in his basement. And he's doing some weird thing and then shooting the puck. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, the J shot. I'm working on my J shot. And I'm like, the J shot? The J shot? And he's like, yeah, from Jack Frost. I'm like, it's the Austin what? Matthews and style then, shot. That's Why thing. have I never seen this movie? But but I, and then Before he. The, but, but back then, no one was shooting like no, that. Nobody so was. it was like, oh my God, this it movie has no idea what they're talking about. Exactly. So and then shows, 10 years later, it's changing whatever the angle. Like, he was yeah, changing exactly. the angle before anyone else was changing the angle. Yeah, yeah. Jack that. Frost invented the J shot because yeah. my friend was was practicing. I'm like, what are you. And he shows me the movie. I was like, this is some Disney BS, the, the J shot. You don't go like. But Darren must have watched I'm that. I'm honestly video, saying, eh? I literally practiced that shot because of it. 
Come on. Because of the movie Jack Frost. Hey, why I have to see this movie, Jack Frost? <laughs> so, but but I was like, dude, this is fun. Like, don't sh- don't. This is a Disney thing. Don't take your hockey. <laughs> like, watch some Don Cherry Rock 'em Sock 'em learn to shoot yeah. the puck, okay. man. We're yeah. giving away. We're giving away a lot of movie ideas. Okay. Right okay. Now. So here's the that thing. One wasn't on my list. Um, on my list. We forgot to mention that. Today we're actually going to be recording two podcasts. Yep. One for next week, a Christmas edition. So this week we're drafting the best hockey movies. Next week we're going to draft the best Christmas movies. And we're dropping a lot, awfully lot of movies that's, right that's now. Okay. That <laughs> it's in the draft list. You, I don't you know. have the opportunity to take it, right? It's it's yeah. an open, open season. Yes, Pick yes. it if you Maybe want. Maybe I'm just getting in Jeremy's head. He's going to draft uh, Jack Frost. Number one overall. best overall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, I should watch that one with Mason. He might like that. Oh, he would. It's yeah, a great movie. It's, it's a decent movie. Yeah, for Christmas awesome. We always love the nice little, you know, Christmas hockey movie. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm already feeling Christmas vibes. Yeah. Be- before we move on, uh, is Jason Robinson going to get uh, like 80 goals this season? He's on pace for basically. No. no. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, how, how many? many? He's, how get, many? he's getting over 50. I'm I think s- I'm, I'm saying uh, he, he's going to fizzle out at like 53. He's going to have a slump. He's going to go through a cold streak. He's, but he's going fi- to he's going to still get 50 plus goals. That's impressive. He did. He had 41 last season remember that i'm saying he does uh 60 plus i'm i i I was about to say the same thing i say if this guy is the real deal like we're like apparently he is 41 last year i i think he finishes top 10 in score like in goals he finishes top 10 in goals with 50 to 55 does he have more than dry settle he's no he he's 60 goals i'd say he's number two mcdavid is he wants it i think this year so like mcdavid's unstoppable yeah so here's the thing like my prediction is that Edmonton is going to be back and forth, back and forth all season. It's going to come down to the last 15 games, and it's going to be like Dry Seidel and McDavid are like, yeah, we're making the playoffs, and we're going to score a shit ton of goals at the end of the season, yeah. and they're going to pull away from everyone else. The, the thing with McDavid yeah. is he does it all. He yeah. he decides, right? He's an alien. But the thing with uh, Robertson is that that team is coming together, and I think the team, like they're gelling. Have you around. watched the Dallas games? I, like I don't, I don't even know. All I see is the R- Robertson highlights. I don't watch the actual. No, game. Right, no, I but don't. It's it's just like the the team mentality. Like they don't have a superstar, but they've got a good but team. McDavid, that's like he is a team. Like he just dominates. Like he goes out there, and you can't stop the guy. Like it's he doesn't even need teammates. Uh, literally, McDavid does not need teammates. I like, was watching a dominates. highlight. I was watching a highlight like, of the. Uh, Edmonton's power play, I think, last night or the night before. It's and, a swarm team. And it's, it's a SWAT no, team. No, but literally, it looks like their plan is, okay, get the puck to the point. McDavid circles out. Get the puck to McDavid. Yeah. Then then he he passes it or shoots it, and they do the dry same thing. He, circle, one timer he circles that, back, like, and then they pass it to him. McDavid puts a dry saddle, and dry saddle's like, yeah, that's a goal. it every time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, literally just get the puck to McDavid on the power play, yeah. and it's a goal. I, yeah. I just feel what's happened with Robertson, same thing's kind of happened with the Leafs. Like, the Leafs want Marner. It's it's great for the team because they're all, like, getting around this idea of, like, you know, let's keep the wins coming. Something to rally and, for. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like, it's it's bringing them together. It's like they're all sharing in that, in that moment. Like, I saw how hard they were trying to get him the go- uh, a goal yeah. in the last game, shorthanded too, right? They're so like, they're trying harder. They're yeah, playing oh, harder. For sure. Right? For to, sure. Let's get it tomorrow. Also, they're playing a little bit dumber. To yeah, try to make it a little bit. Are <laughs> they? Uh, they're like, yeah. Willie's passing. Yeah, Willie's passing. Should... <laughs> oh, yeah, Willie's like, I would probably shoot this most of the time. Yeah, like the boys are. Yeah. But it shows like, you know, we're going to ride Team for our spirit. boy. He's, yeah. he's hot. He's got this point. Oh, straight. no, I love it. For we sure. don't get like their boys are like, we don't really care about the win. We're looking for that. That 20 straight for Mitchie. Yeah. It, is anyone getting 70 goals this season? That's that's a lot. No, no that's when that's so. When much. was the last seventy goal season? I know like Timo Solani had it his rookie season, like seventy six. Like, is but, it uh, is it possible for McDavid to get cold? Like I I just don't. I think he's that dominant that like he could have two a game every game. I think okay. So here's like, the thing. I don't think anyone's hitting seventy unless McDavid decides. You know what? I might as well. M- McDavid <laughs> M- McDavid's getting seventy, and and Robertson's gonna get. 60. Is there a more dominant player at their sport? I've I, mean, so I saw oh, the Spit and Chicklets boys. Like, is there a more dominant player at the sport than McDavid? I, I why see. does McDavid come off the ice then? <laughs> if he's no, so dominant, why does he come off the he's ice? He's like that. Like he's light years better than the next best person yes. in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, he is. Like how many points? He has way more points than the next point. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, Robertson just the eye test. Just no, just not points. Not points. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. He's like one, uh, a couple behind. No but way. the funny thing is, right when Ra- Robertson catches up, McDavid's like, "I'll go get four. Then I'll get four. Yeah, like, um, yeah, I don't think anyone was close. Dude, he's close, day. man. He's close. Uh, points, gotta go back points, one more. Points, yeah, I know, points. I know. I don't think so. Uh, forty-seven. <laughs> oh, never mind. Robertson's at forty-one. But that's what I'm saying. They were close. Robertson had one more point than him. Uh, a few games ago, that was yeah. like three weeks ago. Forty-seven. Yeah. So what's the, what's the next? Like, so there's obviously those Dr- three. Drysidle on his team with Kuch- forty-two. Kucherov's forty-eight. 
So 36. The next closest person is 36. Like if you don't, if you count, don't count Drysaddle and Robertson. Because they're yeah, like uh, yeah. Drysaddle has yeah. 42 because he's on a eight team with points McKibben. already. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell, that's someone's like. I think there's. Season. I think there's gonna be like five or six players that easily that break 100 points. Is he getting 150 sure. this year? Yeah, like 26 games. We're about a quarter way through the season. He could get 150. He's gonna get 150 points. Yes. He's playing like on rookie mode, yeah. dude. Yeah, he's gonna get 150. Yeah. Unless he gets injured, which he probably will, because he's trying so hard. To get injured. <laughs> yeah, there's it stinks. Like, there's not a better happen. player to ever have ever in the history of the world. No, what what is he doing? How does he but get fired up? Skates is better than him. How how does he not get exhausted from like being so awesome? It's he has lots brain. of ice baths and he's, hot he's, tubs. He's slim. I, he's not the biggest guy. I would like to know what his like process because you know like Michael Phelps, how he just dominated swimming. Like I would say, outside of hockey, Michael Phelps was the most dominant player. Like, he, like, not, athlete. Not like a play, athlete. Yes. Yeah. Was, was he juicing? He no, no. But d- dude, the guy ate like thirty thousand calories a day. You know how hard it is to eat that much. That was when he was training. Oh, uh, let me tell you. No, I can't. <laughs> like, was he not on juice? Like, was no, that? not oh. Michael Phelps. That was the the biker Lance Armstrong. I know. I'm, sa- I'm saying like. Oh, you're asking. Well, no one knew that Lance Armstrong was until twenty years later. Fair, but no Phelps. Like, I mean, there's testing and stuff. So unless they found a way around it, they had like some crazy. Which, which new, these guys do. New Russian stuff, but like you looked in his back and he had bruises all over his back from doing these cupping, yeah. like techniques, like pulling the blood to the muscles. He was also like uh, a statue of a man. He was going against like normal bodied people like you and I. And he was arms. built for it. He, he yeah. was like that. that. What the was that one? The of a condor. What was that one where they get the the butterfly? Yeah, the butterfly. I always tried to do the butterfly. I would get exhausted. Three butterflies in. Yeah, yeah. this this guy's <laughs> arms were going like two lanes over when he's like. <laughs> they got it. They had to make extra lo- wide lanes for yeah. the swing sport. Yeah, honestly, right I was tired of watching that guy win. I'm glad he's not winning anymore. But he crushed. He he just won he everything. Did. Yeah, he so. did. Yeah. We're a swimming podcast now, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the swimming hockey. The only swimming hockey podcast. Put in number one in that category for you, our you, charts. You finish a game, and then you hop in the pool and get all your sweat off. <laughs> Front crawl stuff. But, but I would like to know the processes. Like, if McDavid said what he does each day, is it nuts? Is he crazy? Is, like, his pregame training? Like, hey, Michael Phelps, I remember reading an article's breakdown. Basically, like, he would wake up and do something, and then, you know, like, he's going through all these processes. So by the time he was done breakfast, he had already won. Like, he had 10 wins. You know what I mean? Like he mindset stuff. Mindset, like, like what's he thinking about? Like yeah, wanna, like you want to do an exercise? I'll pretend to be McDavid. You interview me. What? Like I feel <laughs> what like he does. I feel like you have to just be like he has to like be grateful. Like he has to be so present. Like to be able to dominate the way he is. Like you have to be present in what you're doing. You can't be thinking about somewhere this else. This is purely speculation, but in my opinion, I feel like McDavid is just the type of guy that goes with the flow of yeah. his day of what's happening in the game and when he gets on the ice that's when everything kind of resets and he's just focused and he's like 100 per- when he's on the ice 100 percent hockey when he's off the ice he's just like oh you know what i had a pretty good day i think he oh, knows let's go play some best. hockey now i think he knows he's going into every game like i am the best player I think in the world and he, i'm gonna show it every night he goes into the game knowing that i can go and win this game and no one can outskate me no one can yeah. like i am the best player like no one's better like i feel like he is going into the games like knowing there's no one on this ice that could stop me. Like in a one-on-one, you are not beating. I like, think he knows that, but he doesn't. He, he might not he's say not it. Th- he's not, he's not, no, he's not about saying it, but like I think time. he just like goes into the game with that kind of confidence, like that much, which he's like earned that. Like oh, for accolade. sure. Like he is the best. Like he knows it now, and it's like yeah. And yeah. my my opinion is that like I wouldn't be surprised if a couple hours before the game he's just like kind of just chilling. Yeah. If yeah, if I like, chilling it. Yeah, he when, has to be. When we meet him, we'll ask him. When we meet him, we'll ask him. We'll yeah. ask him what his pregame routine it, it, is. I could almost – we should do predictions on what he says because I would like to do <laughs> – that would be funny. He, his personality – like, people say yeah. his personality is, like, very yeah. – he's going to do a couple skits, like, him just, like, monotone. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, you know, like, I – not that excitable. I, I didn't wake up oh. until 9 today, so – and then I just yeah. I, I made a bowl of oatmeal, took the dog for a walk. I, then I figured I, 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 I might as well go to the rink and just tape a couple of sticks and kind of walk around. Yeah, he's not going to tell you about his real routine. I don't really do anything, guys. I, he's not going to tell you about his, like how he wakes up at, at 6 a.m. and like has some stick candles. He, he like stacks every stick in his yard in a certain direction, pointing to the north. Like, you know what I mean? I, I alone uh, align the stones in my driveway to match up with the uh, Gemini. <laughs> just, I, I mean, he'd probably say stuff. something. He'd be like, 
Yeah, I woke up. I didn't wake up till nine. It was game day, so I just did a few, like a couple stick handling drills. I, I hang a crystal over my head and spin it counterclockwise. <laughs> like if he's doing, if anyone's doing that well, weird stuff. For use, like this is like gets into the superstitions. Like yeah, our superstition is that like a mental health thing. Like our superstitions bad. Like it if you, you get too involved with them, maybe yeah, I, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like it essentially gives you a win. It gives you control. It's like something you can control and. But then feel if it good. goes wrong, if you can't, if you don't yeah. do it. Now it's like it's it's a mental like, like if you're not flowing, like if, if superstitions, you're definitely not flowing. Like right. that's what I would say. Like you're you're fixated on something. Uh-huh. I, I for me, I was superstitious. Like I had like, and I'm starting to become less superstitious. Like I have no control. Like really over even my body what's happening right now so like let alone me putting my stick up the other way instead of the like how right, it's right, not yeah. affecting right but like people do i don't know so it's maybe it does help i don't know i yeah i think there's obviously some benefits to it but you can get a little like life's all about balance right yeah. you, you can do it if it makes you feel good if it helps you then go yeah. for it as long as it's not harming right once it starts to interfere then you gotta okay th- think a little harder about growing that. up i had a lot of um like compulsive things like OCD with like where I put my stuff. And like to this day, if anyone moves something like on my desk or my bedside table, like I know, I know where I left things and like, I I'm very particular about it, but there there's times when I'm like in a mood where nothing feels right. Yeah. And I just get like, I'm like, I gotta like shake it off and like go like kind of just forget about it for a minute. Otherwise I'll like drive myself crazy. Yeah. But that's, never been an issue as far as superstitions before playing like hockey yeah for me i had i had superstitions before exams at university like i had to like i would not like i'd have my notes i'd have them all written out i have them stapled but i had to bring them in my bag i had to bring them into the room oh like they're in the room with you so in the bag through us he's just like you're cheating yeah no but they're throwing in the garbage bag at the front like on the university you put your bag at the front but they just had to be but you're you're like i can see through (laughs) i don't know they're there they're 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 in the room i get i get that i get that um (laughs) all right let's get into the uh the crazy minor hockey stories Alrighty. uh who wants to start it off well i'll start off just because i feel like i had the the least crazy like stories, okay. <laughs> right? And and just to uh, be clear, uh, Chippy played AAA, right? Did I? Yeah, I played rep and junior C, small town small population. Town. Yep, well, like population would... in cold water, probably f- a thousand, two thousand, yeah. three thousand yep. ish. Now. Massive, massive, yeah, uh, really city. big town, the big smoke, big of... league stuff. <laughs> yep, and I was about uh, pretty similar. Beaverton, Ontario. Did you guys have hitting in your leagues? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I don't yeah, know like, the stuff under AAA. I don't know what's going oh on. Oh my god. Yeah. Say. When, when we were like, I really have no idea, guys. I have. I don't. Oh, know. We're I'm beneath joking. you. Yeah. I'm just joking. <laughs> Anyone think, out there that's not AAA, it's okay. I think contact started like six years old for us when. Uh, I played mini sticks in my living room, but full contact with my brother. That was your league. Yeah, and my dog. Yeah, how long were you guys periods? Like three minute periods? Or yeah, yeah. And and the buzzer went every uh, two minutes for us to know how to change. Until I was sixteen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we had floods in between periods for us. Hey guys, a triple A, we got a flood. We got a flood. Cool. <laughs> yeah, actually, we did too. And and our the one year our coach, um, you know, between periods, the coach is supposed to you know break down what's going wrong, how you can improve, what is the other team doing, how can we counter it. Our coach would go. Uh, we, we'd be sitting there. I remember the first game, sitting there. Okay, did ready you guys for the coach to come in. Though? That's soccer, but you guys no. didn't get any oranges in between no. periods. No, no, no not between stuff. periods. No. Oh my okay. god, I forgot, forgot. You guys didn't get the oranges. That's soccer stuff. Up. Did you get a back rub too? Yeah, we did actually. We we had a massage therapist. Oh my yeah, like it was. Anyways, this one coach, we're sitting there waiting for him to come in to give his pregame speech. He just never came in, and then it's like a ten minute flood, right? And then all of a sudden the door flies open. Okay, Zamboni's off. Let's go. I'm like what the heck? And then it happened the next game, and then it happened the next game, and then it happened the next game. We're like what, what's the coach doing? Like, is he ever going to come and give us a pregame speech? He's having coffee. Smoke break. Oh yeah, <laughs> smoke break. Our coach, I had a couple right in, before. instead of, of pumping the players up, breaking down, helping us win. Clear he, the mind. He needs to go focus in. Clear the mind he, a little bit. He would head out the side door of the rink. He'd prop it open. Yeah, have a smoke out there. Some stress. Yeah, a stressful game, minutes. man. And, and he, you know, check the watch, check the watch. And you come in. And, and the only reason I knew is because I'm like, why does he always smell like cigarettes after? And then I was like, oh, okay, he's having a smoke break. Thanks, coach. Yeah. So so what did you do? Take over as the coach, the motivational speaker before the games? <laughs> no, no. By the end of the season, uh, it was we were uh, 11 years old, right? So then all the kids would just go out and have a smoke break with them. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Just start chain smoking in with Beaverton, the coach. yeah. Chain smoking with the coach. Okay, that's what's happening. Uh, all the other teams Beaverton, like, eh? why do yeah, they yeah, smell he, like smoke? He, he'd get the king size pack and he just ha- start handing out to all the kids. Here you go, kids. Yeah, yeah this why, are, why are you guys gassed by the third He's period? Like, every you guys every said day. you wanted to get fired up, right? 
<laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, uh, don't do that. That's Coach, a joke. Why am I wheezing yeah. in between periods? Like Sm- smoking's bad. Okay. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. So that, don't, don't vape. Just don't. It's not don't cool. Don't vape either. Oh, vape is no, like no. drowning your lungs. Vape. Yeah. We don't. The thing with vapes, we don't know what the hell is a vape. What's what's going in? I'm not gonna be on some like parent thing, but like vaping. We don't know what's in it. The the problem is that so when we, when I was like, going to high school school, kids smoked and it was like dirty and gross and they smelt bad after and like now you smell like a blueberry. That's the thing. It's like it's a cool little gadget and it's like ooh, it, it, it's not like hurting when you breathe it in or whatever. It's like it seems so cool because it's like a tech. It's, it's tech cool until it, you're. 35 and you can't you can't walk up the stairs without so so that's the problem is that you don't realize the long-term effects of it and it's like a habit a real habit thing right oh well it's the nicotine that's how potent they're like more potent than cigarettes they're so potent it is not good for you right so although it might taste good because they have the different flavors anything in large amounts just stay away from it or or like if you're if you're vaping like 18 times a day regardless of whether it's good or not good for you, it's probably not yeah. the best thing to do. Here, here's yeah. the thing. is It's yeah. the compounding effect. So you do it once, eh, right? But then you do it a few times a day. Eh, but then you do it a few times a day for like five years. Yeah. That every yeah. single time it's building and building and building until like you basically... It's the same way you learn something. skills. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm, I'm not, and I'm not saying it because I'm not perfect. Like I've done it before. I know I, from experience, it's not good. Like I'm not here saying, "Oh, don't do it." I've never done it, but like I've done it before. Know it's bad, yep. and I don't do it anymore. It's po- positive habits versus go. negative habits. So you want the compounding effects. You want positive compounding effects. If you wake up every morning and stretch and drink some water and do some sort of good, like for your mental health. Yeah. Right. Some sort of reflection, journaling, something like that. Exactly. That over time, you it doesn't really do anything in the moment or maybe a little bit it's, it's positive it does do something but that positivity overall like over Compounds years and years to be good it's, exactly. it's reprogramming your brain to not crave that dopamine hit so when you hit that little vape stick it's a just dopamine rushing into your brain whereas if you have a delayed gratification with something like journaling or something like going to the gym you may not feel instantly gratified but it's going to feel better over the long run because you're not just Every minute when you're not feeling okay, let me just cr- crush the vape. Instead no. of hitting the vape, just go hit the crossbar. Go hit the crossbar. Go do a yeah. push up. Get in the gym. Drink some water. Yeah. And then long term, <laughs> it's going to be so much the the dopamine, um, the gratification from that is going to be so much better. It's delaying the gratification and you know t- suffering a little bit today to have a better tomorrow. Yeah. And into that, I will tell a first minor hockey uh, story. Besides my coach that uh, went for a smoke break every <laughs> during the during the flood. What a beauty. <laughs> uh, this one I think is probably about 14 years old uh, I told the story already of the our goalie who had to um, had the whole team bus pull over and yes. uh, you guys yeah. watch him yeah. yeah yeah. so same goalie this time we're at a tournament and he had to use the bathroom the, what is this goalie's I, issue I, I don't know a lot of bathroom stuff with this team eh? Yeah. what are you guys doing yeah, over yeah. there in Beaverton <laughs> We, we were at the tournament early. We're like nothing the, else to talk about. We were the first. We were the first team there, right? And he's like, "Oh, I gotta, you know, I gotta take a dump." And we were all in our dressing room, and there was another guy also having a pre gamer. Oh yeah, pre gamer, pre gaming, right. pre gaming. Yes, right. Yes. And, and by the way, when you're doing that, make sure you do the courtesy flush, right? If you're, you usually respect, yeah, yeah respect. Usually, you just do it in the lobby bathroom, not the the team dressing room. If it's pre game, a little right. bit nervous. Yeah, you're pre gaming. <laughs> but, but sometimes it's a bonding experience for the boys. You know, yeah, I was a pre gamer with my buddy. On, depends on the character. You do it in the dressing room or in the lobby. The dressing room, lobby, thing? lobby after lobby. warm ups. Yeah. right. Yeah. After warm ups, be like all oh, the boys. You, you don't want to crop dust the whole dressing room. No, right? that's no, the thing. no. Yeah, you go lobby. You lobby. If you have to, like you're chatting, better. you're chatting with the boys. Maybe it's a thing that you do. Then, then just do a courtesy flush. The there. parent comes in, you'd be like, no, nope, out of order. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the goalie has to go. Like, really has to go. We're the first team there. Uh, our someone was already using ours, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna. So he's gonna run to the lobby. Uh, I'm, I'm just hanging out with him, so I'm going with him. Instead of turning towards the lobby, he has a sudden change of heart, turns the other way. And he goes into the other team's Come dressing room. Oh my other God. team's on. dressing room. Were they warming up? <laughs> no, no, they weren't there yet. They were at the tournament. That's a beauty. What a but, beauty move. But I'm like getting that nervous feeling. Like, what well, they could walk in. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Will, Will, what are you doing, bud? And he's like, he's like, dude, this is going to be hilarious. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> this is going to be better than when I crapped in the snowbank. <laughs> it's hilarious. It, get, it gets worse. In, instead of using the, the stall. Oh, all over the seat? What did he do? He, he drops trow. 
he gets their garbage can. What? Come on, man. Oh, no you way. You couldn't do this in 2022. <laughs> like this, you'd probably go to jail if he did this. He drops a hot one right there. Your team there. would probably be disqualified. He yeah, drops like... a hot one right there in, in their garbage can. Steamy. All over Steamy. social media, cameras see who did it. Who's the culprit now? Yeah. Did the other guy come in? It's a steamer. <laughs> he sneaks his head through the show. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, oh, what what are you like waiting for like the coach to walk in any second, right? And he we we snuck out, you got away with it. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. And, oh my gosh. And there was no word of it because who did it, right? It it was a tournament. Anyone could have snuck in there and but Jeez. yeah, it's a, it's a dirty move. Wow. I do not recommend. Would would not suggest. It's uh not respectful to the other team. Or anyone for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> But I wasn't about the, to stop the, him. Hey, it's, cleaning, it's natural. It's a natural staff, thing to do. It's a natural thing to do. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. So don't don't recommend that, but that was a, a wild one that happened, and, you know, it, it happened. I, I wasn't about to, like, pick him up like he's a puppy. Like, no, 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 not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you just no. stand guard. <laughs> so, yep. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I was telling you guys before, I don't really have much, st- like, crazy wow. stories. Awesome. Like, man. I reffed a bit of hockey, but it was... But it was. Uh, There's got to be some reffing young. stories, no? There's like, some reffing stories, but most of what? the parents were pretty tame, as far as like yeah. from what I've heard. So I won't tell any stories about that because it's pretty boring. The j- worst thing that happened was they said, "You suck, ref." Oh my gosh! Could you? Can you believe wow. it? I would yeah. give it to him back. <laughs> Getting a million views on this podcast. I would, send him, I would send him out of there. I'd be send him out of the stands. Get out of here. Kicking no, everybody out. My, my story is actually about my brother. All right. Okay. Because as you guys probably know, I'm not the biggest goon when it comes to hockey. No. Um, but my brother, when he was younger, he earned a reputation for being like the mo- one of the most penalized players in minor hockey oh. for his age. Um, he, he, he still has a bit of a chip when he plays the men's league hockey. He, doesn't he knows mind. how to get guys riled up. Does yeah. not mind mixing it up. Yeah. So, and it's funny too because people see him play and be like, "That's Hayden's brother," because <laughs> it's completely different. For, like I had like one penalty in six years of playing or something, right? Wow, like, that's whoa, why you got the most sports. Soft, like, yeah. Hayden, soft. Okay, noted for our one-on-ones. Oh, soft. Oh, okay. Okay. Bro. Okay. I'm a bit I, I, that gets me excited. I'm a bit Here's different the thing. Now. Excited for our one-on-one. He doesn't need to to do anything dirty because he'll just like strip the puck off you clean and he's gone with it. He's getting a two hand from me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, my brother, this is like, I watched a lot of my brother's games, obviously. Right. And this was one of the more memorable ones for me because he had already had this reputation. The refs know it, they're coming, but the other teams know it too. Right. Yeah. And he was like kind of for his age, he was kind of a unit. This must've been like, I, I don't know what age group it would have been. Probably it would have been U 13, U 14 type thing. And the other team just starts running him in the corner so it's like one guy, boom, he knocks him down. Another guy, boom, knocks it down. Next guy comes, starts trying to like grab him and stuff. And he like takes him, throws him into the boards. And he's just like an animal. And like, so literally the half of their team, like three or four guys all came at him and they're just lying on the ground. And I'm not exaggerating. They're all on the ground except for the fourth guy that came in. It's like my, a kung fu and movie. My, and my brother grabs him and puts him, and he's got him in the headlock. Come on. And then the ref like comes in and I kid you not, my brother got ejected straight from the game. And the and the, they had one penalty. My brother got like a ten minute misconduct. They were shorthanded for like the rest Just of the chaos. game. And and ever since then, my brother was ne- like he could never play a game without getting called for a penalty. If he laid a hit, he would get a penalty because the refs always marked. Yeah, like the refs just knew. Like yeah, especially you, you the gotta... local. Like even at the home ice, my brother gets on the ice. I'm like, there's a 50-50 chance he's getting a penalty just for being on the ice. Just a reputation at that point, eh? Like, yeah. He, knew. he plays hard, but he's respectful. Like, he's not doing anything Well, dirty. he's kind of learned how to control. Like, right. he had some emotion challenges. Like, he would take out some of his anger on people. Mm, okay. Like, with a big hit. Like, some guy would be coming up the ice, and he'd just absolutely destroy him. We lost the video. Oh, yeah. Our GoPro turned off. All right. We're back. Uh, battery died on the uh, GoPro there. Overheated, actually. Uh, so, Chippy. Yeah, uh, Chippy, I got some stories. Let's right go. G- give me a story. I I, I got a, a good I have I have I have a gra- actually a minor hockey story. Um I have a really good one. I was like this is I was probably like 7 or 8, okay? So mm-hmm. um it was this was like novice AAA. Mm-hmm. Um we're at a game. I think it was baseboard. Oh. It was baseboard okay. and I was playing defense and I was in front of the net and you got to battle for a position. That's a big thing, right? So it's getting chippy. It's getting nasty. There's some cross check stuff going on. There's some, you know, it's chirping. Yeah. And then, so our goalie 
covers the puck. And you know when you get a scrum when the guy tries to jab, like jab your goalie, it gets mm. it gets rowdy, right? Chaos ensues. It gets chaos. So now everyone's coming in. I get cross checked onto my back. What are they teaching these kids? I know it's nasty. It's nasty. This was AAA stuff, heavy compete stuff. Um, only the triple a stuff only, yeah, yeah yeah so this is this is some some real stuff i get hit onto my back and then there, there's everyone's around me everyone's surrounding me like everyone's still fighting i'm on the ground so for me like a natural instinct for me is to raise my feet up <laughs> oh, oh so you no know, because you know, <laughs> well, no, right? when you're like eight like you don't this is natural instinct if That's someone's right. about to fall on you yeah you're gonna put your feet up to make sure they don't like I'm not gonna sit there and watch someone fall, so I put my like I put my skates up. Yeah. <laughs> and so Gosh. some guy's getting hit onto me, so I, I do a little. I guess leg I press. I I leg press him exactly. It was a leg press. Oh movement. my gosh. I leg press the guy to make sure he's not with your knives for feet. <laughs> yeah, which I wasn't thinking at that point. I was eight yeah. years yeah, old. When you're a yeah. kid, it's it's a little different. Yeah. So I so, you know, I did I do that. Rafi calls me for. Uh, he kicks me out of the game for kicking. Oh boy, yeah. Right when you get those blades up, but like, yeah, when you're eight, it's like. And that was flight. the first time I've ever been like kicked off the ice. So I go to the room. Did you cry? I'm crying, like yeah. bawling my eyes out, like what the hell? Like my team's gonna be missing their best player now, <laughs> and we're gonna lose the game. Oh, someone I'm else got kicked out too. Someone else got kicked out. So, well, actually, yeah, it, they did, but <laughs> I, but it was me. That was you know, whatever team's gonna be missing me. But what happened was my other buddy, who was like my is my best friend. Also gets kicked out of the game. I, I I didn't see what he did, but he got suspended. He got like a ten minute misconduct or something. Did, did he take a skate off and like? I don't know like, what he did. I was in the I was in the room bawling my eyes I out. I shouldn't have been standing there. He, like, he was sharpening his stick and he went at someone. Like it's a full on eight year old melee. Exactly. So I'm so I'm in the room bawling. My dad's Smash coming in. Stuff. My dad's coming in and it's like, what the hell? You know, I got kicked out. What's gonna happen? So after the game, I guess the refs have to like convene. Mm-hmm. They figure and out what I guess the actual I, suspension. Yeah, like I, 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 I got yeah. kicking. I got a kicking. Fuck. Er, yeah. <laughs> pardon my language. I got a kicking <laughs> suspension, and um, I guess it was like seven games or eight what? games or like wow. ten. I don't know. I forgot what it was. It was like ten games, but during that period, there was two tournaments or two or three tournaments. So when you're suspended, the tournament games do not count as okay. suspension games. So I missed two tournaments. Seven games. I, mean, I think I missed like thirty. Like, oh, you can't play in the tournaments either. Can't play in the part tur- of minor hockey, even though now. they weren't part of the league. They right. didn't count as penalties, like oh, serving. Shoot, right. So tough. I missed two tournaments. I'm like seven years old, not playing hockey. I'm my like my dad's writing letters to the trying to, to appeal the, it or to, something to, to yeah. the to the like league. Like my kid's crying. Like he's. I wasn't even able to practice. I don't think. Man, or I, I think I was able to practice. I forget, but and, and that's probably why like you didn't make the O. Exactly. <laughs> you miss that, the, you miss those games at such a young age, and now it's like you can't recover from that. No, I, I, I know that's what I mean. I missed about thirty games, and it was um, really sad. But I got another story. All right. Um, this was this. Keep, keep we're going. Let's go. Yeah, this, was when I, this was when I was f- five, um, five or six. It was house league. Mm-hmm. Um, these these were my best years. These were. Do you five, remember this even? Like you no, know, I do, I do, and I and I and I have a game sheet. I have a game sheet to prove this. But oh, okay. I would never like I was dominant at eight. Like I ha- my dad had me on skates age two. I was in lessons three. Like I was really good at a young age. So at age like six, it's house league. I never got more than a hat trick. I would go out. I would never get more than a hat trick until on purpose. Like you're just like I, I, I would just score hattie every game. I would wow. just I would just every game's a hattie, and I would never get more than three, but I would never get under three. Like it was just a hattie every game. Yeah, and. <laughs> Um, You're in that that uh, dominating. Hockey, I'm still right? dominating like, the league, right? Like it's still <laughs> walking circles. But the game before, so uh, so usually you play Saturday and then Sunday's the game yep. in the morning. So Saturday practice, Sunday game. Mm-hmm. So the game before it was canceled. The practice was canceled, but you would you were allowed on the ice. So my dad, you, we're, we're, it doesn't matter. My dad's like, we're well, no, we're going to the practice, and he's going to come on the ice with me. Yep. So he teaches me. He says, like in the house league, everyone starts to pile up in front of the net. Oh, yeah. Everyone's standing there. He's like, pal, if you just circle around the net. And you just hold it that extra second, the goalie's gonna drop, and you're gonna walk around all the players like so. I'd do like a like kind of like a, a Gretzky, full circle, yeah. 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 So I would just do a full circle because I could just skate. I, every yeah, these kids yeah. could not hit the puck around. I call me. that the Willie Styles. He does that exactly. like every he game. He skates. He's, yeah. So I skate around, around and around. Hold an and extra around. second, and then we just wide open net every time. I scored <laughs> 17 goals. And it ha- no that's way. That's like, the NHL what? 94 stuff. Like thing. you just skate out of the net. I would just every across, time shoot it. I was like, dude, just, just, just. And I wasn't listening. I was like, Dad, whatever. I'm not listening. And then I did exactly what he told me. And I would just hold the puck a little split second longer. Goalie would drop, and I would just in the empty net. Unreal. I scored yeah. 17 goals, and I'm like, Dad, was like, this should be in the news. <laughs> this kid is the next Crosby. I have the game sheet. I can prove it. I gotta find the game. You sheet. discovered a real life glitch goal. 
It was a glitch goal. A real life glitch goal. At age goal. six, and when these kids Great. could not skate with Coach Chip. My, my glitch goal when I was six was just that I was the only one that could flick the puck up in the upper yes. half of the net. Yes. And, the, and they're so short. Oh, yeah. Once you could raise the puck, like, yeah. yeah, it was, it was. Like, I'm pretty sure I could raise the puck when I was like four, or three. Th- this is great for all the parents out there watching, all the puck daddies. Teach these to your kids. So exactly. you got the patience. A, a, if if you got the crossovers and the speed, yes. you hold the puck out, protect, right? Even the one well, foot glide. Just hold, yeah, <laughs> hold it for an extra second. The, the players don't know what the, these yeah. kids are fine. That's, that's the thing. It's like one lap around the net and then shoot it in. One lap around the net. It was, shoot that's it what I did. I one lap goals. and it was just. <laughs> so and it was like, come on. That's yeah. the the chippy glitch goal. Yeah. We got the Hayden Hiles glitch goal, which is just learn how to lift the puck early. Yeah. And I had a kid on my team. I remember when I was five years old, John Soames, who went on to play in the OHL. Mm-hmm. And he was the only kid that could do a lifter, right? And the goalies would just sometimes lay down on the, in, uh, in the crease. He's like, no, no one can lift it. He's boop, just every time. He'd skate in, boop, yeah. top shelf every time. Money. When you're five, you can you can do a, a lifter. I remember when I was, I think I must have been like, yeah, five, six. No, probably five. And there was another kid on my team, and he saw me scoring these flick yeah. goals. And, and like, so we're on the bench. And he's like, "How do you how do you do that?" So I'm I'm sitting there on the bench. I'm like, "It's you're not trying to sh- you just you're just chipping it like you yeah. flip you flick it. It's just yeah, it's a cheat." And then I and then I showed him with the puck on the bench. He's like, "Okay." And then he goes and scores one. I'm nice. like, "There you go, buddy." Nice. I'm like, so I've always been good at teaching. I guess you're, you're meant meant for how to hockey. So yeah. my glitch goal, which I discovered uh, a couple years later. Is like a couple years ago, you mean? Not a couple years ago. No, no. Have, you, have you discovered? A I, goal? I scored 18 goals. I got the game sheet. Uh, oh, <laughs> relax. That's a one up. Relax. What do you think? You're Crosby like me? Come on now. No, this this was probably Adam. I don't know. Maybe like nine years old or something like that. I just found, for whatever reason, at this age level, it just worked basically every time. So I'm a right handed shot coming in from the left side, off wing. And I would cut across the crease and put it five hole. Cut across the crease, put it five hole every single time. The goal. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that was a glitch goal. I know that glitch goal. goal. I did. Yeah. I had the same right? thing. Yeah, it's at a certain age, it legs just happens. spread and you go right through the. Yeah, it's because so like, the goalies haven't learned to butterfly properly. Well, well the yeah. thing is, when you're young, they just don't move. They kind of just stand there. So like, there's nothing to shoot through. But once they get a little bit older, they learn to slide across. But they don't wide open five hole. They don't learn to put the stick down or to like cover that five hole. So it's it's a window of opportunity. Oh, I just miss those days where right? I could just score so easy. Yeah. Yeah. You go, you go back and forehand, tuck it five hole, back and forehand, tuck it five hole, and I just did it like every game. I'd score a, a goal guaranteed coming down my offering. So that's that's not a glitch goal for you for the kids. You still go for that shot now. <laughs> I, I was doing it yesterday. I was still cutting middle right along the ice. I was right. I was ripping them along the ice yesterday. But yeah. it's just not as successful now because the goalies have learned, right? But I'm just saying, there's th- yeah. these opportunities. Uh, I got one more uh, minor hockey story. This one was when I was playing midget hockey, so I think it was like 15 years old. Um, I hadn't hit puberty yet. I was still like. Uh, five feet tall and there was some man men on my team like they had to shave and stuff right 15 year old man child coming off his face (laughs) (laughs) uh but we we were on at an away game and it was a parade of penalties so we we were just like you know is that me yeah that's you oh way to go sammy i told him that's my wife i'm just gonna throw go ahead throw this in airplane mode (laughs) thanks sammy for being featured on the podcast let me start again uh we're, we're the visiting team. We are just getting sent to the penalty box, penalty after penalty after penalty. And the kids that are running the time, the timekeepers, yeah. they're obviously local. And, you know, big crowd. The crowd is, like, yelling at the, us. Because, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, local, the local parents are, you know, getting all fired up. There's yeah. a lot of energy in the room. Yeah, yeah. It's that pressure, right? And these two kids that are running the time are just chirping the guys on our team nonstop, you know, local crowd coming against us. And even Beauties. the kids in the time box, <laughs> there's a little hole, right? Yeah. That yeah, yeah, yeah. You can talk through if you need to say something. He's giving it to you. They were abusing it, right? They're, they're just going at every <laughs> single guy that gets in the penalty I box. I thought you were going to say they hit the buzzer on it or something after you had all this pressure built up. No, <laughs> no, 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 not, nothing dirt like, like that. No, right. they're just sitting there chirping relentlessly. Right. Yeah. And every guy that comes back to the, the, bo- the bench, Oh, did you hear these guys? Oh, they said this. They said, so everyone on our bench knows about this. And it's like kind of growing and growing each time we go to the penalty box. What did these kids say? Oh, yeah. And, and we're sitting there on the bench watching these kids just relentlessly go out. And what do you do? You just sit there and take it for two minutes. We're yeah. getting a- abused in the penalty box. I've had, I've had a couple of things like that. Hold on. Hold on. So, right. And of course, there's a few guys on our team and they just love it. Like they live in that moment. They would, they played right. hockey <laughs> just to chirp people on the ice and get in fights. One guy on our team, Jeff, 
he only played, I think, four games the whole season. The first game, he gets in a fight, gets suspended. He serves his five games. The next game, he's on the ice. He gets in a fight, I gets suspended. Like, he just, he loved a real it. team player. <laughs> to, to be honest, great group of guys, though. Like, there's four or five guys that they, they, they were just there for, like. Those guys bring the mojo. Though. It was fun. It was a, a fun lot, yeah. season. So, I'm, I'm just, like, it was my first year playing with that group of guys. And I was just, I'm a chill hockey player, whatever. I got sent to the box. It was uh, myself and, and uh, my buddy Jason. And we're in the box, and and he goes to the box with a plan, right? He's sitting there, and the guy, the kids are just chirping us, chirping us, and he's just sitting there smiling, just not even give, paying him any attention. He's like, "Buddy," he's like, "What? Watch this, watch this," <laughs> and he's just sitting there smiling, not saying anything back to them. They're going, they're going, they're getting a little bored because we're not really reacting, right? And then something happens; they have to, you know, work their little buzzer and and look at right. And he's like, "Okay," he's a watch. He takes his hockey stick. That little hole that's in the glass, he lines it up like this, like a pool cue, oh and, and he's looking at me, and he goes, boom, oh. and he nails the kid. Oh, my God. Nails him right in the ear, and the kid drops, and he's sitting there, oh, oh, right? And the, the play was at the end of the ice. No one saw it, right? And he's just sitting there laughing, and, he just sm- and, the, and they start chirping, and he's just smiling and going like that. <laughs> like, oh you want some more? And, and he did it just before he was allowed to get out, right? So they're like, they're going nuts in the penalty box. He just opens the door. He's like, see? Oh right? way! Did they not do anything? Like, what? What are they gonna do? Right? They're gonna call the ref. Ref. You salt. They just. They the took box. it. They I took mean, it. after the game, you tell the ref, and then but, <laughs> you get suspended. Yeah. But, <laughs> I mean, that's what you do. You but, tell. You tell the ref. The, the kids. Or you. Or you. The ref you tells it yourself. Or, or, or to be honest, that's, getting, that's what happened. Or it, mix it, it up. It was. It was street justice. Yeah, I mean, that's what mix it up. those kids knew what they were doing, and they like. I mean, I, you shouldn't assault people, but like they kind, they kind of knew they had something coming. So yeah, but it stopped. No, they <laughs> yeah. they were real quiet after that. They were yeah, real quiet. Th- I think so. so. I like I couldn't hear. <laughs> yeah. <It's, laughs> it's, out of one ear, he was deaf. It's not something I would do, but to experience it, it was yeah. I mean, I was like, all right, that was a that was a power move. That yeah. was a power move. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I got yeah. I got a little. That's like some cart- cartoon stuff right there. Just, just the fact that he's lining it up like <laughs> yeah, this. Like, it's like I can just picture like. Yeah. He's just like, hey, hey, Jeremy, five ball, corner pocket, dunk. Yeah. Later, boys. Dink opens the door and leaves. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> Should well. we do the best uh, hockey movie draft? Yeah, let's do the draft. That's uh, wrap it up. Chippy, you said you wanted to sit out. Yeah, I don't have any. I didn't bring my. Oh yeah, your notes. Let me flip one over here for you. you do rock paper scissors? Hey, and you're finally gonna win a rock paper scissors here. I think I might. All right, all right. You want it ready to go? Yeah. Oh, we we doing rock? I I sorry, I did rock paper scissors shoot again. Oh my gosh, this guy! You think he grew up in the states? <laughs> okay, it's rock paper scissors. We gotta He's playing it the mental games here, already. Here's the thing: I was gonna do scissors, so we would have tied that one anyway. Uh, I was okay. going for scissors. Okay, okay. What, are we gonna recalculate? What are we gonna do? We're doing rock paper scissors, not rock paper yeah, scissors. Yeah, shoot. I know. Okay, ready? ready? Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> paper. I win. All right. This is tough. This You're is, not picking mine anyway. So. This is really hard because I know what is the hockey movie, and I almost need to pick it. To be fair, though, it's it's not mine. I. It's really hard for me to take the top, and I think whatever I pick, you're just going to pick the other one anyways. My top one, I'm going slap shot. It's just the most icon. It's the hockey movie. Yeah. It's the, yeah. It's, it's the most That's quotable. A That's a great pick. It's, I, it's I had shot. that one number one, but okay. I'm honestly, it's for, same same with you on my personal level, my first overall is going to be Miracle. Oh, Ooh, okay. Miracle on ice. Miracle on Because, like, to me, the, when I think of, like, what hockey feels like. Yeah. And, like, there's there's nothing that beats Miracle it's, for me except for Slapshot just because of the the status quo on the line. Miracle yeah. is an iconic. It's a, a hockey players hockey movie. Yes. Like it, it really is. The, my only problem with that is that it featured Team USA, and I was like, I need this, but for, for, with a yeah. Canadian. I team. just identified with it. I was just like, okay, I'm cool with it. Whatever. Uh, of, but I I, I just <laughs> you need a Canadian Summit version of. That's it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I did I didn't yeah. feel right watching that movie and being happy. Right, like I didn't like liking it. I liked the movie, but I just couldn't. Right, I I'm mean, like, it's no. not like it was a, against Canada. Canada. No, it's it's boy. not. It's yeah. it's a great Good film for sure. Boy. Yeah. And and the <laughs> the thing is that they had to make it Team USA. Obviously, it's a great story. It's a great story. Oh yes, 
Um, but they had to make it Team USA because the market isn't there for a Canadian hockey movie, basically, right? Like, yeah. well, what are you going to market it? Not? I think no. I feel like well, for America, okay. So the don't even watch hockey. The thing doesn't is, matter. Three, you make Canadian. a good movie, it's three hundred million people versus Canada's thirty million. It's ten yeah. percent of the. But there's hundred percent of Canada might love it. People but that love matter. hockey in Canada. There is well, they'll. The market, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disagree here. But, but no, oh, there's more. Oh no way, U.S. markets the, bigger. The, no way. The Canadians are no gonna. Chance. The Canadians are gonna dollars watch. Dollars wise, dollars and the cents. The Canadians are gonna watch the Miracle movie because it's a hockey movie. and We don't care. We just need something, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it's just, and, and it doesn't matter to us if you pitch that to Hollywood. They're like, no, we want Team USA. Yeah, America. Yeah. 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 Well, was it made in like yeah it must have been oh, yeah. right? it's, a, it's a Hollywood movie everything's I think it was made in uh... <laughs> well it's so old when 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 was the movie even made not that old it's it's, it, it's old about the 1980s 2000 and yeah. one 2005 really I yeah, thought it was older that old. than that no I, no okay my number two pick absolutely love this movie uh might be some debate here but I'm going Happy Gilmore now. I, Ooh, okay, it counts, I, it I, I, I'm put, it I'm putting Happy Gilmore in my top five favorite movies of all time. Yes. but I'm not calling it a hockey movie. That's it, just it, the it opening counts. scene. Yeah, it's a hockey the movie. The opening he scene hockey. He's is just so shot. iconic, right? Yeah. My name is Hawk, Happy Gilmore, and I'm a hockey player. Right? Yeah, it, the, it the whole be, opening it thing, allowed. I relate. It has to be allowed. I would could I would just watch the first two minutes. The putter, the putter, the, 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 the putter with the hockey stick. That's what I'm saying it's, it, 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 it's. Hi, I'm a hockey player, but I'm playing golf today. I'm calling it a hockey player movie, not a hockey movie. Fair. There, there's at least one scene where he's on the ice where he takes a slap shot and says, "Is that net regulation?" Like, there's, there's quotable. Is that net regulation size or what? The cut scenes from that movie are hockey. Yeah, but the main thing is golf. It is a golf movie, but I'm, I'm saying, I'm allowing it. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I I forgot about that. I'm not I'm not going to disallow it because I feel like a lot of people are going to agree with me that it's not a hockey movie. Okay, well, debate the um, comments. Are you the administrator of this <laughs> draft? I don't think so. So I'm just saying I, I I'm I'm happy with it. I feel like I got this on a walk. So. Okay, okay. okay. I'm, and uh, we got to be specific with our picks here. Uh, with my number two overall, I'm going the first Mighty Ducks movie. Ah, dang it. And I know I picked that too because Jeremy doesn't know any other movies. So. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. I know. I bet you I know which First one you're going next. Ducks. I'm not even going to say it because okay. it's. Is this a Mighty Ducks draft? Is like I, I'm gonna, I'm counting Mighty Ducks as a series. No, no, you got to go individual because. Do we? Some are, people are like you D- telling me how to run my drafts right now. <laughs> some people like D two better than D one. Some people like you know. But it's the most same. Most people don't even title. watch the third one. Yeah, I could. I don't know the difference between any of them. No, it's it's Mighty Ducks and and D two. All right, it's going to become a Mighty Ducks draft then. Let's do it. Let's no, do we're it. Not. We're going to keep it like that. Let's you go. can't do a draft Let's with three Let's get creative. Movies. Let's get creative here. <laughs> uh, this is tough for me because I'm, I'm, it's hard to go for personal favorites versus, uh, you know, more popular. Uh, I got a couple good picks here, but I'm going to go for my uh, my third overall. I'm going Goon. Ooh. It was a hockey. Locally shot. Yes. It was a movie that we needed. It was, <laughs> there was a drought. There was a, a while where there wasn't a good hockey movie. And a good old Canadian boy comes out. He's like, "I'm going to Hollywood. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a can- like a, a hockey movie. It wasn't a Canadian movie, but it was filmed in Canada. Uh, and it was it's filmed in Barry. Yeah, at the yeah. yeah, yeah. I tried to be an extra in it. Did you? But I didn't get it. My buddy thing. was an extra. The second one or something. Yeah. I, I I like. I saw there was filming. It was on Facebook, and I'm like, hey, like I would love to get involved. And, and I was doing how to hockey at the time, and they just never messaged me back. And I was like, I. I just wanted to be an extra. I know. What's up with that? Missed opportunity for them. Yeah. And we got Hayden next. He's going to go with number the second Mighty Ducks movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I won't do that. I actually, I was, if I'm being honest, I was going to go Goon. Okay. I so, forgot about stolen. it. Stolen. Stolen. a great pick. Yeah. Goon, I forgot about it completely. Goon's a great movie. Um, but I, yeah, I won't go two Mighty Ducks in a row. I'm going to go with Mystery Alaska. No. And honestly, that's the one that I thought Jeremy wow. was going to go next. It's the one I wanted to take. Yes. And I knew he wanted to. I, I just know Jeremy so well. I knew he was going to pick I, it. And I was like, I'm going to go Goon, and I'm going to have a lock. But he switched it up. So yeah. I can't be the only one that has no clue at Mystery Alaska. It's such really? a good movie. Let me let me break it down for Never you. <laughs> okay, we don't need the whole breakdown. Never no, you need it. it. You need oh, it. my gosh. It's, it actually is probably my favorite hockey it's movie. It's a great movie. It, it's my favorite one. But I was actually, I, I like Hockey I, Go More. I, but it's like, I wasn't allowed to watch it until I was a bit older for some reason. There's though. some scenes. Yeah. Maybe I have. Maybe like if I saw it title uh, it, it's a, he's like i remember a steamy hockey scene what's going on <laughs> basically like 
it's these guys way up in Alaska, and all they do is play hockey. It's their entire like life, the whole lifestyle. So it's like that great hockey feel. There's a kid that's like a young up and comer, and he skates the river. Like he's just training. Like he's a, a superstar, but no one knows about it because they're way up there in Alaska. And I guess word gets out. The New York Rangers go and play these guys. Okay, maybe on, I've seen it on their home ice, and it's just a great flick. It's a great movie. I'm. I'm Sad that it's not on my list. <laughs> I was trying to sneak it in there. I was trying to sneak it in. All right, with number four for you, <laughs> what do you got? Uh, number four, I will take uh, D2, the second Mighty Ducks movie. Okay, yeah, that's... Right. Yeah. In, in my creative opinion, guys, creative in my guys. Opinion, if I was gonna if I was going to draft the Mighty Ducks, I'd go 1-3-2. Really? Oh. And it's All because right. I, I, I live for, like, the kind of like the side storylines of it. Right. And the second one was just all like the the glamour. So are you going I, number, I, I haven't three? watched I'm not going through I, I haven't watched them enough to actually know one, two, and three. I just yeah. I, I needed a Mighty Ducks movie on the list. So. <laughs> yeah, you needed it. You needed it. Oh, actually you know what? I'm I'm gonna I gotta do it. I'm going number three because I I have a uh, one for my fifth pick that I don't think Jeremy's gonna pick. So get, get, ah. for for me to allow this, explain something that happened in Mighty Ducks three. They that they are they go to call they play college hockey okay and they're they're basically they get a new coach they're trying to they're trying to teach them how to play defense actually clear out the garbage in front of the net is this true yeah that's, have you true. even seen it I don't know I saw I'm saying I have no idea I don't I, I, have, I have seen, no idea I've seen the movie okay okay like, okay okay it yeah. counts it counts <laughs> <laughs> just needed some sort and there's of no there's no shot Jeremy's picking my my last one. oh yeah no, number five I'm going uh, MVP most valuable oh, private. My, that's the one. <laughs> That's the one what? I said. That's no. what I said. No one was gonna get. No that's way. That's the one I was talking about no before. Way. That's I was, the best. That should have been number one. Come on. MVP should have been number one. That was, that my, was my favorite movie, The Skateboarder. It was the <sighs> hockey. That's the best. Boom. That was my sleeper pick. Of all sleeper time. Pick. MVP. I mean, the there little... is there is an MVP too, but it's nowhere near as good as the first one for hockey. It's like Jack. half skateboarding, half hockey. Was it Jack? It was yeah, Jack. Jack. Little Jack. Little, little Jack. Jack. Come here, Jack. Come here, Jack. Go out here. He's, he's got his little like, helmet he's like, on. He's like, I want to go home. He's got his little <laughs> helmet on. And he's got his little helmet uh, and skates, and he's buzzing, and he's dom- and then and then he gets cut. Oh, I love that up, movie. He tries to Why didn't I pick it earlier? I took a risk. Oh, that's the only. That's my favorite. Try to slide one past me. Ever. Okay, Funny maybe tricks. I maybe I built it up too much, and it made Jeremy remember something. No, no, no. I, said, was, so. I, I had the same plan. I'm taking. You try to label him as like a bad person, like biting people with the ketchup, and they were so mean to him. Yeah, I needed a well-rounded so slap shot through the net. <laughs> I, I was hoping to get Mystery Alaska in there for the perfect draft, but it's like you got yeah, uh, a you know, slap like, shot, a comedy, and then you got like a more like drama, like goon, you got some fighting, you know, and then you get just a kids one in there, like something MVP good, wholesome. Number nine is crazy. That's all right, all right, Aiden. Yeah, I. What's your move? Uh, regrets. <laughs> Can we do trades? I'll trade you MVP for Mystery Alaska. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sticking with that. My that's tempting for me, Whoa. honestly. <laughs> that because that one that I would take that trade. But you haven't seen Mystery Alaska. So I would you know. take that trade, but I just know how elite MVP is. That's the number one. Pick. I think that would no, be my I, number for, one. For me, <laughs> for me, MVP. For me, MVP is like the best sleeper pick. It's like yeah. the best pick in the bottom two. Yeah. Um, but you got something else for us? I think it's a top. Yeah. Okay. I'm going and the, and Chippy, you can be the judge on this, but I'm going. Don Cherry's Rock'em Sock'em. That's great. That, that is Ooh. such a sleeper pick, too. You know what's yeah. funny is that that was also – I was considering. I was considering. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm I, happy with I didn't my know, draft. But hold on. He made 20. Which one? <laughs> I'm just Yeah, which one? I'm, which one? They're all so good. No, no. <laughs> you, you picked an NV – you know, you, you picked a, a D2. I, so here's the D3. problem. There is one that I had at home, and I only had one. So I, to me, it's okay. just Rock'em yeah. Sock'em. Well, I'll give you the whole series. That's fine. But, I mean, that's that's strong because that's, him the whole 20, series that's 20 crazy. years worth of content for one pick. Uh, my favorite was uh, Rock'em Sock'em 5. He, uh, Don Cherry dresses oh, up. Do and you remember them? There's a, oh, yeah. There's a music video. And, and Don Cherry's dancing. Oh Let's my go. <laughs> he can shoot and he can score. Who else, Bobby Orr? Let's go. Let's go. That's there's just, unreal. And there's so many quotes in there. Like I, I liked when he did the breakdowns. Uh, I think in that one, number five, Mike Medano has the puck and he's going around the net, right? And he's just like around and around and around and around. Really seen these, and eh? really Jeremy, watched, Jeremy had them and that's all he had to watch. I Apparently. had them and I liked watching them, but I wasn't as it obsessed. It was just hits. It was just hits. It'd be the big hits come on and it'd be oh. I, I watched number five every year, right? That it was my and yeah. and uh, what's the other one? 
uh, Don Cherry's like, you know, I hate it when a goalie gets scored on and says, oh, well, boo-hoo, another day at the office. I want to see him get mad like my buddy Eddie Belfour. And then it shows a clip of Ed Belfour. He's just, like, smashing his stick on the net. And, it's, and it's, he's like, way to give it to the goalpost, Eddie. I love I've that. seen that one right? a bunch. Yeah, yeah. That makes it. Yeah. We need someone who can do those type of color commentary, kind of, like, off the just, cuff. You just do it. <laughs> I, I feel like I want to. I asked the NHL. I'm like, yo, give me some footage so I can, like, do little breakdowns, like a weekly, like, what happened in the NHL. Yeah. And, like, you add some energy make it, to it, Make right? it entertaining, yeah. yeah n- not just, like, you know, oh. Not the sports broadcast. Yes, yeah, sports broadcast. Yeah. Crosby scored three, and then there was an empty net, and blah, 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 just telling you what yeah, happened. Like, like, put me on TSN. Put some I personality in there. I could really these highlights here <laughs> yeah that, that's why i like the the don cherry breakdowns because I mean, you could just do it you just can't okay. monetize it yeah. i mean maybe we'll we footage all right, we got we got <laughs> break right, it down break down here we got honorable it. mention jack frost just honorable because we mention. talked of it earlier okay. <laughs> yeah. okay here we go i'm gonna break it down with jeremy first here all right jeremy with number one was slap shot yeah great pick gotta give it to him i can't win a rock paper scissors for the life of me <laughs> i'm over five now or over yeah, four over four is that's tough yeah um, i think i'm like three and oh Happy Gilmore, number two for Jeremy. Mm-hmm. Controversial, in my opinion. Number three, Goon. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. Number four, we got Mighty Duck, number two. Worst one out of the three. Okay. <laughs> then at number five, this this one might have just took the whole draft, in my opinion. Yeah, your opinion doesn't matter. MVP, I, I am the moderator of this draft. <laughs> I choose who wins, Hayden. So it'll be respect. Okay, yes, respectfully. I need to respect. Yeah. Uh, um, MVP. And, and and I was considering, instead of uh, Mighty Ducks 2, I was I was considering the Rock'em Sock'em series there, which I should, like... It doesn't matter if you're considering you it. You didn't tell, like no, it. You no, can no. tell how much I like it, because I circled it, a big <laughs> circle. <laughs> MVP should have been right, number one. Let's okay. go down Hayden's list. We got number one, Miracle. On ice. Yeah, a lock. Solid. Great pick. Number two, first Mighty Ducks. Pretty yeah. iconic, yeah. Uh-huh. Number three, Mystery Alaska. Yeah. Perfect. Number four, Mighty Ducks. Number three, Creative, Hayden. Creative. This is <laughs> really okay, creative. You can't even knock me, okay? Uh, number five, Don Cherry. Great pick at the end. You haven't there. even seen the third Mighty Ducks movie, so you nice, can't even knock nice. me. <laughs> it's a solid movie. Most valuable primate wins this draft, and we know. No, Ooh, is it biased? Is it biased? Go. It let's might go. be. Hayden. It no, might be go. biased. I'm I'm calling everyone out in the comments to stand by me on this one. Guys, I think mine was if better. If you guys don't say MVP is the greatest hockey movie of all time, you've never watched it, you've never seen it, and, and go watch it right now, kids. <laughs> it is a great movie. It's the best movie ever. I watched it like probably 25 times growing up. Nice. Look at that dog nice. I drew. All right, you know what? Let's. uh, We have another podcast to record. Christmas edition coming next week. Yes. So, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in to episode eight, Epi Eight. We uh, have some special guests coming up uh, in In the the new new year. year. We're gonna have Connor Carrick, Shane Corson. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah. Let us know if there's any certain questions you want. I don't know why it's it's glitching like that. Um, Yeah, if you want us to drop any things, get in any uh, content. What do you want to hear from these guys? We're interviewing, you know, pros or or former pros. Like, what do you want to know? What do you want to know about uh, what's going on there? Let us know in the comments. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And we will see you next week. Let's go. With my hockey stick Gonna make a real difference Feed the poor and heal the sick